this is Beth at West Coast Wool and today's video tutorial I am going to show you how to do the coral stitch. So let's get started. For demonstration purposes I'm going to be using this Eleganza Pearl Cotton number no. 8 and a 22 chenille needle. Uh, this is um, a good size for the pearl cotton number eight. You could also use a chenille 24, but this is what I had on hand, so we're gonna use that. So to do the coral stitch, I am gonna be coming up through the back of my work, right on the edge of my little circle here, and I'm gonna come up to the top, and then I'm gonna take a little bite picking up a bit of the background and the wool circle at the same time. Now I'm not gonna push my needle through. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap my needle around. It almost looks like you're making a figure eight, but you're gonna wrap it around. I hold it with my thumb and I push it through. And it makes a little knot. So let's do it again. So I'm gonna take a bite in the background and in my wool applique, I'm gonna wrap it around and I'm gonna pull it through. Do this a few more times for you. I'm gonna wrap it around. And I'm going to pull it through. So let's work on a beaded coral stitch. So next we're going to work on the coral stitch with a bead. It's very easy and fun. What I'm going to show you is how to bead around a circle. We're going to be using this Eleganza Pearl Cotton number no. 8. I'm also going to be using a milliner's needle number no. 3. And the beads I've chosen are these Toho beads. They're a size eight. They have a nice uh, big hole. And the reason why I've chosen these is I want my bead to go through the needle easily. I don't particularly enjoy beading if I have to use a tiny needle and I'm struggling with the threading and getting the bead through. So for me, this is the easiest and I, I like these beads a lot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get started and we're gonna start by doing the coral stitch. We're gonna come up in the background and you're gonna pick up a bead. So pick up a bead on your needle and then you're gonna take your bite. So I've done it just like this. If the bead slides off the needle, that's okay. I usually just have it on, on the needle itself. Then you're gonna do your wrap, like I showed you before. And then you're gonna pull it through. And that locks your bead in place. And you see how nice it lays flat? So let's do it again. The trick is to remember to pick up the bead first. So you're picking up a bead. You're gonna take a bite in the background, gonna wrap it around, and you're gonna pull it through. And they're gonna lay nice and flat. So I'll do a couple more. Pick up the bead, take a bite. Oops. Wrap it around, and lock it in. I'll just see if you can see it up close. Okay, let's do one more. Remember to pick up the bead. Take a bite. Wrap it around. And pull it through. Now for me, I usually stitch with my applique in front of me. Some people will do the coral stitch in this direction just this is just my method so i i would say try it and then figure out which direction works for you um, i just happen to like stitching 
uh, with my apple cake sort of in front of me and I'm going around in a clockwise manner. But give it a try and try some different beads, but um, I do recommend the Toho and see how that works for you. Now, if you really enjoyed this video, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel and keep it wooly. Thank you.